Oh, seven citizens black here from Casa Black Gaming, where I get right to the point with all of my guides so you can get back out into the verse. Today, I wanted to offer up a quick loadout for the Argo Raft. The Raft is currently in the ship showdown, and this gave me the chance to upgrade to one so I could give it a go and tell you how to optimize it. I will be doing a review for it within the next few days, so be on the lookout for that as well. But of course, the easiest way to know when they drop live is to hit that little bell after you've subscribed, of course, and please leave a comment as I do try to answer almost everyone I get, whether we agree or not. And with the housekeeping out of the way, let's get to that loadout. So to begin with, I start with the ship components first because, well, just because that's how I do it. For the shields, I recommend two of the FR-76s as these are the best in slot for this size and you can pick them up from Crew L1. Moving on, we have the two power plants from which I recommend the JS-400s, which can be picked up at Her L2. Now, off to the races with the Quantum Drive, in which case I recommend the XL-1, which can be picked up at Port Trestler, which is the station orbiting Microtech, so if you don't know, now you know. Now, my 90s rap debut aside, these items will set you back a cool 277,700 credits, which is pretty normal for a ship of this size. I do recommend getting that engine first if you cannot afford everything up front, as you will get the most bang for your buck with carrying cargo by being able to get where you need to go at sometimes half the time. Alright, so moving on to the weapons, which there aren't many, but still worth upgrading to, especially considering that only two of the four you can have actually come on the ship. So if you go off flying without adding those, you are seriously gimping yourself. So let's start with those two missing guns first. I threw on two of the size one Veripuck gimbals, which can be picked up at numerous locations such as Dumpers Depot on Port Olisar, Her L2, or if you started out on Art Corps Area 18, you can head up the center mass shop there, which coincidentally is also where you can pick up the laser repeaters I recommend you slap on there, which are the two CF-117 Bulldogs, which when gimbaled will make for some okay firepower to help with the annoying scrapes you might get into while traveling, especially of the NPC kind that might pull you out of quantum or be waiting for you when you arrive at a planet or moon. The remote turret comes with laser cannons, but these are more slow firing and not usually great for turrets, so I would switch them out to CF-337 Panther laser repeaters, which can also be picked up at center mass on Area 18, making for some one-stop shopping if convenience is your thing. Now I do have other locations listed on the graphic if planet side's not your thing. The raft is never going to be great at combat as it shouldn't be since it's a cargo hauler, but these weapons should give you more of a fighting chance to subdue or allow for an escape so you can live to sell another day. And anyway, that is gonna do it for this quick loadout. Now let me know down in the comments how you are enjoying this ship. I myself have been finding it decent and look forward to sharing more in the coming days. Now remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, never take two sex packets at a time, and stay positive citizens.